today, let's talk about your Zapier account. Your Zapier account has a few different limits, depending on your plan level, but also a few others that are built in for everyone. There's Zap limits, task limits, and sometimes API rate limits. Zap limits tell you how many different processes or workflows you can set up, while task limits tell you how many actions you can perform each month as a part of those workflows. But don't worry, we have flood protection built into all polling triggers to stop unwanted tasks from running if we find more than 100 items coming back in a single polling attempt. And finally, our partners may have limits on usage, depending on the service being used. Your Zap and task limits are dependent on the plan level you subscribe to in Zapier. The amount of Zaps and tasks you have access to are the biggest distinctions between most of the plans we offer. Check out our billing page to see the different options and information on those features. You can always check and see how many tasks you've used each month by clicking on your icon at the top right of your Zapier account. The tasks available to you refresh on the day you signed up for your paid plan, and the time until it resets is shown here as well. On the settings pages, you can also refer to this information and more on the billing and usage page. One task is used from your account for every successful action that we perform as part of your Zap. You can also see a handy display of the number of tasks used by each Zap in your task history. Scroll to the bottom to see the number used. We don't count triggers or failed actions against your limit, only successful actions. In Zapier, polling triggers run every 5 to 15 minutes, depending on your plan level. If, during one of those intervals, your polling-powered trigger returns more than 100 items for us to act on, we instead hold those tasks and send you an email asking you to review and release them. We do this to prevent unwanted runs of your Zap, but if your workflows involve chunks of information this size, contact our support team and we can look into increasing this limit for you. Finally, each app that we offer on Zapier connects with a third-party services API. Each of those APIs may have limits as well, but typically, those are only hit by power users of that service. If you do ever see an error talking about a rate limit being reached, feel free to reach out to us and let us know. We're happy to take a look and let you know how we can help. Now get out there and see these Zap and Task limits on your own profile. It's a quick, easy way to gauge where you are in the month. Check out our resources below, and we'll see you next time.